Life is unpredictable. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Hello, my name is Ryan Benton, and I have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Unfortunately, there are currently no cures for this disease. For years, others, namely doctors, have tried to tell me how my life would turn out. None of them were right. As an orthopedic surgeon, he recognized something in the way Ryan stood up. He said, well, that's a classic symptom of muscular dystrophy. Being told at such a young age that I had a life expectancy of late teens to early 20s was not something any kid would take easily. Most kids die of the disease between the ages of about 17 to 24. Since your heart is a muscle also, usually they die of heart failure. When you're a kid, you ask your parents, you know, well, how can I get better? Every research study that was out there would always be kind of a dead end. And that's what our family kind of lucked into 100% when we found stem cell therapy. Ryan Benton at 22 basically was given another couple years to live with the Shen's muscular dystrophy. We put our faith in Dr. Reardon. We figured at that point the worst thing that could happen to Ryan would be nothing. He was the first one, so it was kind of too good to be true. These are the first humans to get treated with MSCs in the United States. They home to the muscle, which is inflamed. They secrete dystrophin, which is the molecule that's missing. In two, three months, they're producing normal levels of dystrophin. Well, that only happens for a period of time, and the cells die off, and then you have to retreat. And the treatments worked and allowed him to regenerate muscle for the first time ever. Shortly after, he felt his muscles activating and breaking down and gained new strength that he had never felt. They go, we don't know what to do because you've outlived all the other patients we did with bad with to shed muscular dystrophy. There's plenty of things he can still do that can fulfill a passion. And for Ryan, that's music. For Ryan and I, we got into actually writing and recording our own stuff. Ryan's always come up with the impetus, the structure, and the idea. Do, do, do. Exactly, exactly. He's got like 50 songs he's working on in there. <laughs> it's a lot. The Sunshine Dreamers has like five albums right now that are being worked on. The band Sunshine Dreamers is a collaboration with so many different people. They come in and Ryan will tell them his ideas and they'll plonk around until it's figured out. Right there, right there. That chord, that bad People from everywhere make this music. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, I mean, I worry more about having music unfinished than anything else. <laughs> I just feel like we pursue life to the fullest and it makes sense for us to be friends. Right after Ryan's first treatment, when he realized that the therapy was working, he immediately had the idea to say, let's have a benefit concert. Why don't we do something to get back at a bit where we raise money? So we could allow more families like ours to access this treatment and raise awareness about this incredible new medical breakthrough. Oh. People started reaching out from all over the world. Ryan, you are, you are our you hero. Are the light. Hero, you are our hero. Came across coming together for a cure. Presentations from Ryan or Blake or, or, Dr. Reardon. or Dr. Reardon talking about it. It's changed Reardon. our lives, better Drew's life. We know many families who say the same thing. Ryan's the pioneer, blazing the path. For whatever reason, 15 years ago, I was given a second chance to continue living. Ever since then, I made it my life's mission to fight to legalize stem cell therapy. That's what's confusing. If you've seen all these benefits and I haven't heard anything about negative results. I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand it myself. There's a lot of red tape. Waiting for the FDA to legalize stem cell therapy. Sometimes, no matter how well it's working, there's a number of factors that come into play that they don't want this therapy to come, come to fruition. You had vaccines, you have antibiotics, and now you have MSCs. Global impact is going to be greater than those two combined. And we want to continue proving its effectiveness in treating this disease. In the tens of thousands of, of, of administrations that we've given, there have been no serious adverse events. Um, none. And, and that, none. I always feel like we're still starting out and building coming together for a cure. Because we want stem cell therapy to become the standard of care for muscular dystrophy and all other rare diseases.
my entire life, I've somehow been able to remain hopeful, even in the most hopeless of situations. We don't get to redo our lives, so I want this life that I have to be to the fullest, and I want, you know, I, I'm not opposed to dreaming big. Over the years, I've personally witnessed this disease take dozens of my friends' lives. It breaks my heart to know that there are millions of others around the world that are suffering from other diseases like mine that could benefit greatly if given access to stem cell therapy. I've been able to live long enough to see the majority of my childhood dreams come true. Now, the dream that I have is that through my story, I can play some part in bringing this treatment to those in need so that they might live out their dreams as well. Dream.